for the snatch pyramid, there is a 12 minute time cap, the reps being 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 of snatches. The reps, the weight does increase with each set of snatches and the teammates are responsible for swapping out these weights. The women must switch the weight on their bar, the men must switch the weight on their bar. All four teammates are working on this with one person working at a time and a tag is required between each teammate transition which will be shown in our video demonstration. Take note that on after the team finishes their set of 20 snatches at 115.75, then we will take score number one, adding a second score to this workout. Score number two will be either when the team finishes the workout or the amount of reps completed within that 12 minute time cap. Should there be any team that scores the same amount of reps, we will use score number one as the tiebreaker time between these teams. We will no longer be taking a tiebreak time after each set of snatches just to make it easier on our judges. Okay, so the way this is going to work is you'll allow to have a male at a bar and a female at their bar. And they are going to be um, facing each other. And the other two people will be standing off to the side um, outside the lane. So at three, two, one, go. Casey will start her reps. And whenever she gets tired, she has to tag the next person. There has to be a tag. It doesn't have to go back and forth between male and female, but it can. There has to be a clear tag though before the other person can take over. And then Casey's done, she's tired, she'll tag Will. Now let's say for instance, the girls are too tired, that's okay. Will does have the option to tag back in Christian, but there has to be a clear tag before taking over. Okay, so this is one of our throwdown teams doing a, a practice of the Snatch Pyramid, and I'm going to show you a portion of this just so you can see how this is going to work. Um, Casey's working on her first set of 10 snatches here and the set of 30. You can see that there's a 10-pound plate on each side to make it 55 pounds. The guys have a 15-pound plate on each side, starting off with 75 pounds. That is how the bars will be set. Uh, Christian's going to go ahead and do 10 snatches here. You can see that he was tagged in by Casey. And then um, it just so happens this is another Casey. So the other Casey is waiting for her tag. And she's going to go ahead and finish off that set of 30. The guys know that, so they're going to go ahead and switch their plates. Now I want you to play, pay close attention to this plate switching. Um, we have the weights stacked in a way that is going to make it very easy for you guys to uh, keep track of what weight um, you are loading onto the bar. So they just went ahead and grabbed that first um, set of 10s off of the top top of the stack um, to make it 95. Um, the girls here are now getting their bar ready for 65, so they're going to take off the 10, they're going to grab that first plate, which is a 15 pound, and now their bars are set for 65, and they're ready for their tag. And so far they have gone back and forth between male and female on their tags, but it doesn't have to be that way. And um, one thing uh, I'll point out too is even though we have stacked the weights in this order um, to make it easier for you guys to keep track of which weights you're on and uh, not have to do too much math when loading, um, if you choose to do it another way, then that is totally fine. We're not going to penalize you for not doing it the way we suggest. Um, however, um, just keep in mind you are setting yourself up for uh, more room for error on the weight loading. And if your judge um, catches that, um, then they're going to make you load it to the proper weight and any reps you did at that weight will not count. So the guys grabbed their next um, set of 10s. They made it to 115 now. The girl, looks like the girls had already added their 5s to make it 75. <clears throat> and um, something to note is we've added an extra element uh, to add an extra score to this first workout just so it's weighted a little bit more heavily um, than the floater and um, there is going to be a score for how quickly you get through your 30 set your 25 and your 20 set <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and use whatever that time was on that first set as a uh, tiebreaker for any tied reps um, for people who end up with the same reps in that 12 minute time cap. Of course there is the option too of finishing the workout within there. Um, 
However, that'll certainly be challenging. We don't expect a whole lot of teams to do that. Okay, the girls, you saw them just strip all the weights off the bar, and they um, added on that 25-pound plate to make it um, 85 pounds. They've commuted to the, communicated to the girls to go ahead and finish that up. So the guys are going to go ahead and add that next plate on the stack, which is a 10-pound plate to make it 155 for their next set of weights. And you can see they're doing a great job of tagging in and tagging out. Uh, the girls' equivalent to um, the 155 for this workout is um, 95, so they just added that 5-pound plate back on to make it 95 pounds. And you can see um, just the different types of snatches we're seeing here. They started off with some muscle snatches for the lighter weights, and you can see they're going um, to more of a power snatch. Now that the weight's getting a little bit more challenging. And even kind of getting close to that squat snatch there. Guys are loading their next weight. So they took off that 10 pound plate. They added uh, the 25. So they went from 155 up to uh, 185, their next weight. The ladies took off their five pound plate, added a 10 pound plate to make it 95 pounds. I'm sorry, 105 pounds. And you can see Will did that 185 and he tagged Christian. So they didn't go straight to the girls. And you can see there, Christian did a full squat snatch, totally acceptable. You see they're still powered in. Um, we just wanted you to see um, a portion of this just to kind of, so that you know what to expect on the day of the throwdown. A snatch from the floor. Um, one option will be to move it into a muscle snatch. Good. Okay. Your next option will be a power snatch. Our next option will be a squat snatch. Do you know how to split snatch? Split snatch. And a split snatch will be appropriate. And just bring those feet back together. Good. Okay, so those are all your options. Um, a squat snatch is not required, um, which means that we don't have to get below parallel, but you do have the option, um, especially as those weights uh, get heavier, you may need to move to that movement. Um, for this movement, we're looking for the bar to start from the ground, land with the barbell over the midsection of the body with control at the top. Um, if you do not have control, it will be a no rep. Can you show us a couple no reps where we don't maintain control at the top? Okay, so that one, he did not extend um, before bringing it down to the floor. Can you show us one from the hang? Okay, that's gonna be a no rep because he took it from the hang position and not from the floor position. Can you do a split snatch where you don't bring your feet back together? Okay, that's a no rep because he did not bring those feet back together and maintain control before lowering it to the floor.